So this is my Sterling engine collection that I've been collecting over the years. And I've always been fascinated by little steam engines and Sterling engines. And I built up a little collection of these. And I just wanted to demonstrate uh, each of these. This is my solar powered Sterling engine. It has a primary foam piston in it that's black and it, the case is see-through. So when the sun hits it, the uh, foam heats up on the top and creates the heat difference between the top and bottom. Um, the secondary piston on this one is an aluminum piston. I don't know if you can see that very well. Alright, this second Sterling engine is this uh, one that's built pretty similar to this, this solar engine, but uh, the solar engine actually has uh, ball bearings in it in all the points that move except for this connector bar here and the one in the secondary piston but uh, it uses ball bearings here on the inside where the shaft is and on this connector bar this one just uses um, like uh, pointy pieces of steel into a little pocket but um, this one will run off of a coffee cup hot temperatures um, it takes about 20 degrees C for this one to run. Uh, just like the solar engine, it has a foam piston in it, but it's a metal cover on both sides, so it uh, doesn't work off the sun and it doesn't get hot enough to work off the sun. Um, this one uses a glass secondary piston. Uh, Alright, the third one here is a vertical Sterling engine. It burns alcohol to. Uh, run and this one runs fairly fast. It's a pretty neat little design. And the fourth one here is my first Sterling engine and I've always enjoyed this one. Um, it burns off alcohol and it uses a glass secondary piston and a glass primary piston with a big aluminum um, piston in it that uh, absorbs the heat. So let's get to demonstrating how these work and we'll start off with the solar engine. So here we are with the little solar one running. Um, it's not too hot today, it's probably about 80, 85 degrees out right now. Uh, this thing doesn't spin very fast but you can see it operating here. it up. So you can just see there's nothing here other than just the Sterling engine itself. And put it back down and just give it that little nudge it needs to go. This one will also run off of uh, hot water in a cup below it. Um, We'll do that next. So here's the little solar powered one that actually is running off a cup of hot water. And since the heat's on the bottom of it, it spins the other direction. And it's cool on the top now. So I've had it sitting here on this uh, cup of hot water for a couple minutes just to let the uh, bottom plate get hot um, and the top plate's about room temperature. I'll give it a little nudge here and get it started. This one runs a lot faster than the solar powered one. Um, still not as fast as the alcohol powered ones, but this one's kind of neat. Hot water. 
and the reason it's still running is because the, the bottom plate's uh, still hot from the, from the temperature from the cup. But um, as it cools down, it'll start slowing down. I'll show how simple these bearings are. I'll pull one, the uh, piece out here. Yeah, what they look like. So they're little, just pointy pieces of uh, like kind of needle-like in one of these little pockets it sits in. Okay, on to the next one. This one's a little alcohol burner, Sterling engine, and it's a tiny one. Um, this one goes pretty fast. It burns alcohol on the bottom. And uh, gets pretty hot, so it spins pretty fast. This is the fastest and most powerful of the Sterling engines that I have. This is the first one that I ever got. Um, it runs off burning alcohol. I can also run it off of vegetable oil. I made a little uh, vegetable oil uh, candle that I can run it off of. At some point in the future I'd like to add some magnets to the outside of the flywheel and um, try and generate some electricity off this thing. It, Let's get it running and see what it does. So this one has a lead base to it that I made and then I copper coated it or copper plated it and uh, that was just to keep it from vibrating because this thing runs so fast. Uh, it was bouncing all over the place on the wood platform it came on. So here it is running off the vegetable oil candle I made. This little jar of vegetable oil burned for about eight hours. Um, it doesn't run quite as fast as when it's running off the alcohol. I think the alcohol burns a lot hotter. But it runs pretty good. Well, I hope you enjoyed my little demonstration of all my little Sterling engines in my collection. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>